Happy Monday, Motivational Monday with Maureen. Well, get ready. I'm going to blast you with a bunch of scriptures today. <laughs> I um, had, uh, well, yesterday, Jason did a great job um, at church with the message on peace. And it's just, I love it. I love it. I've thought about it so many times. And I know I heard a lot of comments about it. Uh, if you didn't hear it or you weren't there, you can always go to our website um, on YouTube or on Facebook and watch it. it. It was wonderful. And you know what? His message on peace is what I feel like we all need. We all need that message on peace because our world is in such turmoil. And if you watch the news, you know every single detail <laughs> that's going on, right? So I was thinking further about peace and um, thinking about scriptures that remind me of who peace is, you know? And I love that um, Jason brought that out too. In uh, Ephesians 2.14, it says, for he himself is our peace. He is our peace, right? Well, and all these scriptures um, from Philippians 4, 7. Remember I told you I'm going to blast you. God's peace will guard our heart and mind, right? In Christ Jesus. In John, Jesus gives us peace. He leaves it with us. Uh, from Matthew, it says, blessed are the peacemakers, you know. We're bringing um, the good news of the gospel that brings peace. And he says, we are blessed. From Romans 12, 18, Paul tells us to live in peace as much as possible. As much as depends on ourselves. From Psalms 34, it says, seek peace and pursue it by turning away from evil. You know, James 3, 18 tells us that well, harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. And then Psalms 29, the Lord gives strength to his people and he blesses them with peace. God gives us peace. And my favorite, and I've told you so many times, Isaiah 26, 3 is the mind who set on him he gives perfect peace, perfect peace. You know, I have tried, you know, when circumstances are just coming at you, um, I've had a day today and they're coming at you. And you know what? The only way to get peace is to have my mind set on him, the Prince of Peace, the one who promises to give it to us. You know, I love from John, he tells us that he gives us peace, not like the world gives. And then he leaves it with us. Do you know that one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is peace? So I just, I wanted to continue to just think, have you mo be motivated and think about, you know, where in your life do you need peace? Um, and then you pursue it but you only do that with Jesus. That's the only way you can do it. He'll give you wisdom if there's things that you need to change in your life to have more peace, but the only way to get it is to seek the Prince of Peace. And that's my last scripture. I love this because God told us this before Jesus ever came, that from Isaiah 9, 6, he says, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. How amazing is that? That our Prince of Peace, our Jesus, King of, of Peace, there will be no end. So take that, remember, your circumstances, you won't find peace in your circumstances. You only find peace in Jesus because he is our peace. All right, you guys, I love you. Have a great week. Seek the Lord. He is your peace.